for his nickname because he's more like a wolf. His tall, lanky build, and he kind of lopes when he's out in the field when he's running or trotting. And uh, from he a distance, like he talks like one too. There you go. Wait till we get him in the tub. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna get a special treat singing in the shower. We got Danielle here. She's been grooming all day, and she's still grooming right now. We've gotten so far Princess and Zorro, and actually a little Chinese crest that we have. Got her done too. So we're three dogs in. Chase will make four. Then we got Jag. So you're in for a real treat. And. Everything's just great. Right now, Danielle, in case this is your first time tuning in, she's actually doing his nails. So she just kind of rounds them out. Because he runs them. He runs so much that it grinds them down anyway, keeps them well kept. But. I don't know if you can see how short his nails are. Yeah. That's his actual nail right there. Wow. Super short. The one claw we do have to be concerned with dew is claw. the dew claw because that they don't normally wear down. I guess in the wild they would be catching prey. They use it to open prey up. But of course they're domesticated. They don't do that anymore. So first thing she always does is take care of the claws and the his nails. Now she's putting them in the bathtub. Good boy, Chase. So we just we did Zorro. You got to see Zorro get a bath. Princess, you got to see her get blown dry. And Chase, you're about to see him get a bath. Did he have burrs? I haven't felt any. Wow, because he was on the same. He's got a short coat. Though. He, it, so yeah, they don't they don't catch on to him catch as on much. much no. So if you saw us do Zorro and Princess, she had a bunch of burrs, and so did he. Hitchhikers, burrs, thorns, whatever you want to call them. They're pretty sharp, and they attach themselves to the dogs. Uh, What's it, none? Really? Uh, wow. He has a twig, but that's it. <laughs> he brought the bush in with him. He, uh, that's a little part of a tree he must have liked. <laughs> He's going to be very vocal. That's what Chase does. Most Huskies do that. By the way, somebody was asking me, and I'll go back and comment on it, what kind of shampoo we use. Danielle, can you, do you have... The bottle, or do you just have the name? Uh, Nature's Specialties is what I use. Nature's Specialties. There's several different types, but that's the brand. Okay, let me let me zoom in on that. Okay, that's the yes. brand. That's the brand right there. Nature Specialties. Thank you, Danielle. Yep. And um, are there different ones or? Uh, yeah, this is the the facial, so it's called Pop and Blueberry. Okay, that's for the face, yeah. which and we use specifically just for the face. This is a high concentrate for super dirty dogs. Let me. Can you? Fa okay, hang on one sec. Let me just get the high concentrate for super dirty dogs right mm -hmm. there. And uh, obviously, we've got some dirty huskies. So. Yeah. <laughs> is that the one you use all the time on the body? Oh yeah. Okay, so that's uh, husky strength. Mm -hmm. Extreme to the there extreme. He goes. There he goes. He's going to be singing. Like I said, most huskies are vocal. What are you doing? And Chase is probably the most vocal one I have. He's being a weirdo. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to stand in here. It's um, this van is heated and air conditioned. I've said that in the past. So uh, just let me know that we're comfortable. I'm sorry. Sorry, buddy. He's got to get the water. He said no. So you're you're rinsing down his head first, yeah. And then you can put shampoo on his body before you water right. him down, right? So for the head, because I don't have the shampoo diluted for the head, right? Just do the head because the shampoo is different. For the <laughs> he got us, good boy, JC. <laughs> He's like, if I gotta get a bath, y'all do too. So because we're using the head, the hair on the head's uh, shorter too, obviously, right? Yeah, well, but I also use the shampoo straight. I don't dilute the facials. So Why is more, that? So it's more effective. Okay. It, it'll get in there and really clean the face out and get that ends get the enzymes down in there down in there and clean up the face right gonna and, clean the and it's tearless and apparently he's super dirty because i need to get more <laughs> <laughs> he sucked that down didn't he oh look at what i forgot i forgot my gloves look at me oh yeah look at you my hands are gonna be clean for it so this shampoo and is it's tearless very tearless yeah. just got it in my eyeballs too <laughs> and you're not you're not no, tearing stinging anything Nope, I always, I believe it or not, it's not a good thing, but groomers always joke that we try it on ourselves first because 
<laughs> we'll put it on the section of the dog and they might have shaken it to their eyes. So do, do they shake it to their eyes? Yeah. No, they shake it to our eyes. To your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you we, try it first. We That's always joke that we try it first. <laughs> we don't just rub it in our eyes, but <laughs> 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 they always shove it all over us. <laughs> mm, good job. Usually my own dogs do it to me, so I'm like, hey, hey, hey. Do that, yeah. Uh, yep. My little troll minions. <laughs> Danielle's a dog lover. That's why she's doing this, of course. <laughs> Takes a special person to do you grooming. You have to be insane That's yeah. that, <laughs> to be doing this. <laughs> and you can see just how small his little head is versus the rest of his hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when they're when they're wet, they look like uh, rats. <laughs> wet rats. That's what he said. Exactly what he looks like. <laughs> totally different when they're wet. I know I've said it before, but. You should never shave a husky unless it's for medicinal purposes. We do it um, uh, for treating, for operation surgeries, etc. Yep. But we do, um, sometimes we'll shave the sanitary area for hygiene, just a very small portion underneath the dog, etc. Yeah. Some people say, and I know I touched on this before, but just in case you're just uh, tuning in, some people think that it helps keep them cool in the summer, but it does the reverse when you shave them. Yeah. Their, their hair adjusts to the warmer temperature, they'll shed the undercoat and it'll protect them against the sun and uh, help insulate them to keep them cool. If you shave them, they have no, no way yeah. of cooling. Yeah, the, everything's natural, but uh, we still try to keep him from licking the shampoo off. He will lick it off and so yeah. will Zaro. Some dogs will, but that's why we use all natural products that are non-toxic, of course. Still don't wanna drink the whole uh, shampoo. Yeah, it's not like we wanna go drink a bottle of shampoo. <laughs> okay, Chasey boy. Because his hair is so different, he's had no burrs. That's amazing. Oh, hello. <laughs> That's a little groomer love there. No, 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 thank you. <laughs> Good boy, Chase. No, it's not. So if you have any questions or comments, someone had asked about, uh, let me see if I can pull the other question up, about the actual shampoo, and that's why we gave the name and showed the bottle. And I'm gonna look real close here and see if there's any other questions. Someone had sent me a message and again, I'll go back and um, address it personally, but let me just see if it's here. Does he? A mud ball? Okay. It's a big ball of mud. Okay. Noel Cabe, if I'm saying it right. She said she was watching one of our live videos. And she has a two-year-old husky that is she tried since he was six weeks to get used to a brush. From treats to different brushes, and it's a battle. She won't sit still. Would a groomer maybe be a better result than home brushing? Um depends on long coated, short coated, but honestly, yes, because most of the time when dogs are like that, as we wait on chase, yeah. a lot of times it's kind of like daycare dropping your kid off. They're different with us than they are with the owners. Right. So it, it not always. Some dogs are just, you touch me with the brush, we're going to have a fight. But most of the time, they're just, here we go. <laughs> He's going to. Most of the time, they're just, um, they're just that way with their owners and we can get them under control on the van. Yeah. You can, Usually it just takes a few times with a groomer, not being mommy or daddy, and it, that works, and sometimes it doesn't. It all depends. All depends on the dog's personality. Yeah, without knowing what's going on in the background and without seeing the dog and type of coat and things like that. But it's definitely worth a try, of course. Yeah. Like Danielle was saying, uh, uh, sometimes a fresh environment, a new environment, certainly a new person, the dog's going to act different towards. And sometimes you'll get a better response or better behavior, and that groomer or that person can help train the dog so you may be able to groom him and so he's not as, or she is not as afraid of the brush or looking at it in a negative way. You may or may not be brushing him right to also, so maybe it's, it's caused him some discomfort. Nothing bad, but... So when a groomer gets in there and knows how to brush them with the hair, follicles, whatever, she could make it a more possibly comfortable experience and get them, get them looking at it in a positive way. And sometimes they're just huskies. Yep, sometimes they're just huskies. <laughs> I mean, we've been doing these guys their whole life. They're nine Seven. years old plus, and they're still, you know, sometimes whining no and moaning. No huskies are just... No. Yep. <laughs> well, all huskies are independent and want yeah. it their way, so... Um, it's not Burger King, sorry. Yeah, that's right. It's not Burger King. 
But um, Danielle, the more experienced groomers like Danielle know how to work with a difficult breed like a Husky and know what to do. So you, you'll get better results and they can actually help train. <laughs> He's talking. They can help train them to better accept the groom. Here we go. It's kind of cool. I call it singing in the shower. If you have, hopefully that helped you. But I certainly would try it with a groomer. I always prefer a groomer that comes to the house. I know it's not always possible, but there's a lot of mobile grooming people out there. Of course, vet them out. Yeah, vet them out exactly because you just never know. And a husky's a double coated dog that takes a different breed of breeder of uh, groomer as well. Time for a no pun intended. Oh, he, turned on the water. <laughs> he turned it on. He's good. He's good like that. So Chase recently had some surgery on his paw. He had a, um, a, a cyst that was benign, thank God. And it was just kind of like a cyst from ingrown hair or whatever. But it, it got bigger over time and it was time to remove it. And it was a healing process. He actually pulled his stitches out. So, oh, look at all that dirt. <laughs> Holy cow. That's just from what she could get in her hand. That's dirt, the dirt factor. Again, I'm very adventurous with them. We're out anywhere from three to five times a week. Getting a lot of activity and going through areas sometimes, like now it's really Arctic cold, but the past week or two has been mid-level warm, so some of the snow has melted. The ground's in a in a transition state, I would say now, okay. where we've got mud, ice underneath. It's uh, pretty sloppy it's out there. It's getting ready for spring. It's getting ready for spring, yep. But when that happens, we can't control the farm areas where we run off leash. I call it free range. But certainly, when we go on the bike, we can go to trails that are blacktop or hard surface, and we don't run into the mud issues. But the dogs love the mud. What's that? Or yeah, exactly. Groomer prefers this. <laughs> Groomer wants me to take notes. He prefers no fur areas, no mud areas. I don't care about mud. <laughs> mud rinse is off. Yeah. Look, at Look at Chase standing real tall and upright for you. You mean giraffe-like with yeah. that neck? But yeah, <laughs> he looks like a giraffe, doesn't he? I call him my giraffe dog. Does he do that all the time? 